Good afternoon, everyone. Exciting day here at Kennedy Space Center as we welcome the Crew 11 flight crew ahead of their liftoff on a mission to the International Space Station. I am Steve Seisloff with NASA's Office of Communication. And with us, having just arrived from Houston, we have uh, NASA astronauts, Commander Zena Cardman, Pilot Mike Fink, JAXA astronaut Kimia Yui, and Roscosmos cosmonaut Oleg Platonov. We're going to hear from the crew in just a minute and also take a, take a few media questions from the group here gathered at the runway. Liftoff of the Crew 11 mission is slated for Thursday, July 31st at 12.09 p.m. Eastern Time. You'll be able to watch that on NASA Plus and on NASA's uh, streaming channels. And with that, I will hand it over to Zena. Good afternoon, everyone. We are absolutely joyed to be here at Kennedy Space Center. It's wonderful to see everyone who's here in person, and thank you so much to those tuning in remotely. It's my privilege to be here with a wonderful crew. Mike, Kimia, Oleg have been fantastic teammates this entire time. We've been training together for over a year now, and we are ready to fly. Kennedy Space Center landing here at the shuttle landing facility for me personally as a first time flyer. This is the first moment when it's really starting to feel real. This is the beginning of a week when things will feel progressively more and more real as we approach our launch currently slated for the 31st. This is also a place of incredible history and I'm so honored to be here with a crew taking part in this long history of human space flight. I am a first time flyer, but we have the privilege of flying with uh, people who have flown before and seen the International Space Station growing from its very beginning. It will be our honor to join Expedition 73 on board the International Space Station and to be there for the 25th anniversary of the ISS. It's so special to take part in something as grand as this human spaceflight endeavor that takes so many people, many of whom have flown here with us today, many of whom are at home in Houston or in our uh, other homes around the world, from Japan, uh, from Russia, and uh, all of our training centers across the globe, including Cologne and uh, in Hawthorne, California. Thank you so much to those of you who are here, and I want to leave it to my crewmates to say a few more words. We look forward to taking your questions. Thank you so much. Boy, it's great to be back, and uh, and it was great to, like Zena said, uh, to land on the at the shuttle landing facility. Uh, one of the last times I landed on the at the SLF was uh, on a space shuttle on Endeavour, and now we get to go on another Endeavour, a Dragon Endeavour uh, this time. And uh, what a great crew to to launch with. I've been on different crews before, but this one's exceptional. Zena. You wouldn't know that she's a first-time flyer. She brings in so much experience and compassion as a commander. Uh, Kimiya-san, uh, Yui from Japan, a uh, fellow uh, uh, um, uh, experienced guy, uh, really, he always has something wise to say. And Oleg Platonov, uh, his sense of humor is even funnier than mine, so I got to take some notes. He's, a, he's a, a great guy to fly with. So this is a great crew. We're looking forward to, to, to launching soon. Um, I've been uh, like to throw out a few extra thanks. Like uh, Zena said, we are uh, a humble and grateful crew. That's uh, kind of some of our, our mottos, but we really, um, we really uh, want to say thanks to uh, the, the teams that got us ready, the teams from SpaceX and our, also to the commercial crew program who worked extra hard to get us on, on time so that we can support the International Space Station program for all the fantastic things that are going on with the space station. I'm personally looking forward to, to uh, going back up to the space station. I helped build it, and now I am get to, get to uh, see it in its full maturity with uh, six other crewmates. So without further ado, uh, again, uh, thank you for being here. Sorry for the heat, but it's Florida in the summertime pretty nice. And uh, here's my good friend, uh, Kimia Yui-san. Thank you for coming. Uh, I'm Kimia Yui. I'm so grateful to be here as a part of this great team, Crew 11. I believe this Crew 11 member is one of the best ever. And I like this crew member because we respect each other, uh, each other's, I mean, uh, cultural differences, language differences, quite international. And I think during this mission, 
will be able to show a good example of like international cooperation because of this very international good great team and we trained together a long time so we are we were ready like my hair hairstyle <laughs> so i'm looking forward to fly uh, with these great crew members and also i'd like to say thank you uh, to everybody who is supporting this mission without uh, everybody's help uh, we cannot fly and uh, my motto is guts and hard work so i'd like to i do my best for uh, the mission success, and I work hard for the people who is supporting everybody, including you guys, actually. Thank you very much. Hello, everybody. My name is Oleg Platonov, and I am Mission Specialist 2 for our crew, Crew 11. And this is my honor to be here in a so unique and historical place. And I'm very glad to be here, and I'd like to say thank you very much to NASA, to SpaceX, and for Roscosmos for this unique opportunity. And I have very super great crew, and I believe and I hope as soon as possible and on time we will be in space. Crew 11, go! Thank you, everyone. We are going to open it up now uh, for media questions. Uh, if you have a question, please come up to the microphone. Please limit it to one question per outlet, and uh, we'll start with you. Hi, Richard Tribu. Uh, Richard Tribu with the Orlando Sentinel. This question is for Zena. Uh, you were supposed to be the penultimate member of your, at least NASA side, turtle class to make to space. That didn't quite happen. But since you will be the last of the NASA side for turtles, is there anything special? related to that, that you have planned, that they have planned, and what is next for your class? Thanks. Hey, thanks for the question. Yes, of course, in space flight, the journey is often nonlinear. It's just a privilege to be here with this crew especially. I have the privilege of overlapping with one of my classmates, Johnny Kim, who's currently on board as a member of Expedition 73. I also have the privilege of flying with Kimia Yui, whose patch has a turtle on it, and so that <laughs> makes him an honorary turtle in my heart. Um, and of course, I'm just the last of the U.S. members of my turtle class. We have Canadian classmates as well, who I hope to see in orbit soon. Um, it's, it's such a journey, and I think, although of course for Crew 9 I had many hopes, the only thing that mattered was getting the crew home safely, and I think we all did our part together to make that happen. Hi, Will Robinson Smith with Space Flight Now. Good to see you all again. Uh, question for Mike, if I may. Um, since you've been, you know, foundational in the commercial crew program since the get-go in 2014, I wonder now, you know, that you're getting to fly as as part of Crew 11, if you can kind of step back and and look at, you know, these past uh, 11 crew rotation missions, the work that's been done both on the SpaceX side and and the Boeing side that you've been involved in so thoroughly, and just kind of your your sense of where we are right now and where we're going. Thanks. Yeah, I have lots of thoughts on that, and uh, I'll try to keep it short and sweet. Uh, when we retired the space shuttle, we had the promise and the hope uh, to continue human spaceflight uh, with, uh, with uh, uh, American uh, rockets and spaceships. We didn't know what they were going to look like. Uh, we came up uh, in, in uh, 2014 here at the Kennedy Space Center. We made the announcement for the commercial crew program uh, TCAP. Uh, contract, which uh, we named two, surprisingly, uh, Boeing and uh, SpaceX uh, com uh, competitors and partners to, uh, to help us get to the space station. And it's been a really interesting journey watching brand new spaceships be built. Uh, we had some great ideas uh, when we released TCAP, and what ended up uh, was, was a little bit different, but I'm very proud of, of our teams, both SpaceX and Boeing, uh, to, uh, to what, they've, what we've built together. And uh, I'm really proud to actually finally fly on a commercial crew uh, spacecraft. And, uh, uh, and of course, I was part of the, the Boeing Starliner story. And uh, that's a different story for a different day. Uh, but uh, I'm looking forward. There's a good possibility for a Starliner to be on board at the same time as us. And uh, it's a really a privilege and honor to know so many different spacecraft. And I'm very proud of our American industry partners for building uh, some really fine space flying machines. And uh, I'm really excited about Dragon Endeavor. Uh, who can imagine that we were going to fly them six times or even more, right? The capsules from, uh, uh, from SpaceX. So uh, go Crew 11 and go, go Endeavor. <laughs>